We're going to start piping uh, the war chant yeah. into Ray J's. Jameis enjoyed that. He did. And uh, you know what's crazy? I didn't even notice that one time. <laughs> and then after the game, uh, we were talking about that third down. We were, we were out of our mind on third down. And Jameis said, yeah, the war chant. He said, we need to start that at, at Ray J. I said, <laughs> trust me, I'll suggest it. <laughs> yes. you know, I'll, I'll be in the CFO's office first thing, uh, first thing suggesting we play that on third down. Third down yesterday was such a, such a big deal in, in the game, obviously. I mean, it was astronomical. Uh, what was the, the secret to success? I mean, was it, it was obviously the, the plays put in are correct, but Jameis spread the ball around. I think six different receivers yeah. caught a ball on third down. Is that right? It starts with, it starts with uh, protection. You know, we really protected well, and obviously the old line had a, had a huge part in that. But we were doing some stuff yesterday. We were, we were asking the tight ends and the wide receivers. Adam Humphreys had a couple of great chips is what we call them on the outside. And then Doug Martin, oh, he was fantastic in protection yesterday. So giving Jameis a couple extra seconds to get through his progressions, I, it's no secret. We have a lot of stuff designed for Mike Evans. Mm -hmm. And when Mike isn't open or they were doubling him or they were, they were rolling the coverage to him, Jameis got to number two, number three, and even one time to all the way to number four in his progression. And th those guys were making plays. Adam Humphreys, Cecil Shorts, Russell Shepard. Uh, Cam uh, Cam Brait, the first two third downs of the game, his only two catches went for went for uh, conversion. So, yeah, we were red hot. But it all it starts with uh, protection, and then from there, Jameis was right on the money. Is that something? I mean, those are obviously big days, and, and they don't all go that way. But is that something that, as the season has gone on, uh, just it's just led to this the repetitions and, and all the situations you've seen during games? It, eventually, it's going to click. Well, I think it wasn't that many weeks ago we were like 25th in the league in third down conversions. I think we're all the way up to 10th. I mean, we've, we've had our, our best three third down conversion games of the year the last three weeks. <laughs> Defensively, uh, they did it again. That's two games in a row. I asked, I asked some guys in the locker room. I said, listen, you guys read everything. You, you heard us on TV for a couple of weeks. But they're still mad at you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's not personal, not personal. But you know what? They got, they got their due the past two games uh, for sure because of the way they played. Great to see. Great to see. These guys are, uh, they've really responded since the bye week to what uh, Smitty and the defensive staff are asking them to do. They're playing with more confidence. They're playing faster. They're playing aggressive. And then the play of the game, the single play of the game, they're down there about to score points. It might be a touchdown, probably a field goal for sure. And uh, they run a little play action pass that we've been beat on before this year. Gerald gets a finger on it. Chris Connie makes a beautiful catch outside of his body. A thing that you don't recognize till you watch it a few times is how fast Quan Alexander turns and becomes a blocker, and same with Will Golston. And then Chris gets that thing up the sideline for like a 50-yard return to set our offense up. I mean, that, that was the single play of the day. It's funny you say the speed of Quan because I was standing behind Chris in the locker room when he watched the play for the first time, and he turned around, and his first reaction was, man, am I slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's coming up with some big plays here now, back-to-back yeah. -back weeks. Confidence, you know, confidence and, you know, believing that he can. Chris is a talented guy. I mean, these guys are the best players in the world. They're the best players in the world. That's why they're here. So, uh, you know, part of it is uh, between the ears and, and believing and, and uh, trusting your talent, cutting it loose. What does this win do? Uh, it, it, it gets you to 5-5. Five five. That's what it does. But yeah. it, 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 pr it presents a picture. Um, strength of schedule, if that uh, exists no, in the that, NFL, that, is, uh, yeah, that's not is even tough. There. But I mean, to be we, honest, you, 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 a couple weeks ago you're three and five. You're five and five now. You guys have, have corrected some things, uh, turned it around here in, in, a, in a manner of a couple of weeks. Well, we were one and zero oh last week, and we're going to try to be one and zero oh this week. You know, the rest <laughs> of it, right now, you know, as injuries mount throughout the season mm -hmm. for all teams. Uh, one thing I think in my short year and a half here in Tampa that I've found is it's not wise for us to start thinking about anything else except who we play this week and what gives us the best chance to compete. And uh, so it's Thanksgiving week. We've got a lot to be thankful for. I know, I know we're going we're gonna to fill that stadium up on Sunday, and we're going to be loud. We're going we're gonna to make it tough on Seattle, and uh, we're going to try to play as well at home as we played on the road last week. And finally, uh, I mean, talk about Seattle a little bit because this is an opponent that's it's his, one of the hotter teams now in the NFL coming in here. It, it, not an easy week by any stretch. Well, we played a hot team last week. And we're playing uh, an even hotter team this week. And they got a lot of big-name stars on, on both sides of the ball. Uh, of course, Russell Wilson leading that offense. And, 
he's a guy that's been there and done that, what, uh, what Jameis aspires to do and what, uh, you know, he's led that franchise like we, like we expect Jameis to lead ours. And then a defense that's just loaded with talent, maybe the best secondary in the league, two really good pass rushers, their middle linebackers, the leading tackler in the league. I mean, their stats will, will blow you away. They, they have the most sacks in the league. So we're going to we're gonna have to play another one just like uh, we did last week, maybe even better. And uh, we, need, we need the fans' help.